With over 600 horse breeds in the world currently, we can only appreciate the unique charm, character, and diversity each brings to the fold. You'd agree each horse breed is pretty in its own way, but certain extraordinary breeds make you go wow at first sight. And as the saying goes, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Therefore, we believe every creature is beautiful and special. We've only put together a list of horse species we believe to be the most super gorgeous in the equine world. The following are the most incredible and elegant horse breeds out there, and each is a marvel to behold. 20. Knobstrooper The kickoff of today's video is a species that can be referred to as the Dalmatians of the equine world. This elegant breed has quite a colorful history. The first known Knobstrooper was a chestnut mare named Flyabe. Although her origin was unknown, many believe she originated from Spanish horses. Famed for its unique leopard-like spots, the Knobs Trooper has a color gene known as the Leopard Complex. The only other horse breed that has the same gene is the Appaloosa. Interestingly, both species are not directly related in any way, with the Danish Knobs Trooper only coming to America in 2002. It wasn't until the 19th century that the breed began to gain prominence for its elegance and beauty. But the turn of the century brought a bit of misfortune to the breed as a fire outbreak killed 22 of the breeding Knobs Troopers, drastically reducing the population of these pure, beautiful horses. Luckily, they survived the extinction scare, and now they're trotting strong. 19. Percheron Originally used as war horses in the former Perche province of western France, the Percheron is regarded as the heavyweight champion of the horses. Eventually, they were drafted into more domestic work like assisting on the farm by hauling heavy cargo. However, even though we know they were bred in Perche, little is known about how the breeding process took place. Basically, no one knows who the original Papa and Mama Percheron was. Percherons usually don a majestic white or color and are truly a sight to behold. They might look all muscles, but these horses are relatively delicate and agile for a draft horse. Their agility is attributed to the addition of the Arabian gene at the turn of the century. More about the Arabian horses later in the video. They're a pretty remarkable breed. Trust me, most of the draft horses in France are Percherons. Their even keeled temperament makes them ideal for riders of all levels, as long as they don't mind riding a big horse. 18. Halflinger with a name that rhymes with gunslinger, halflingers are just as awesome as they are therapeutic. These horses can be recognized anywhere by their trademark chestnut coloring. All halflingers have this color, but slight variations in the shades, ranging from pale to dark liver chestnut. However, they all have a pale mane and tail. They're believed to have been originated in Austria and Northern Italy from the cross between a native Tyrolene mare and a half Arabian stallion. The idea was to produce a versatile breed that's ideal for agricultural work as well as driving and riding. And boy, did they create a beast. First, the Australian army used the halflinger as they needed a sure-footed companion on the rough terrains. Later, during the Second World War, hundreds of them were confiscated for war to be used as war horses and supply horses. They are the soundest, healthiest breed of all the equines. Naturally, therefore, they have the longest lifespan. No surprise there. One of their more laudable occupations in recent times is being used for equine-assisted therapy. These fabulous, calm, kind-natured, smooth-gated horses are all-rounders and they're ideal for a variety of work. 17. Falabella Not all horses are big, strong, and look intimidating. Some like the Falabella are just as magnificent, but small in size. The Falabella is one of the rarest and smallest breeds in the world. They are so small they couldn't even be classified as a pony, but under the miniature family. They may be small, but they have a tremendous pedigree, developed by special selective breeding from most of the 1800s in South America. The breed has gone through several phases of inbreeding before arriving at its present size. The breed was named after Julio Falabella, who created them. The average Falabella is black or bay in color, while some have also been known to have spotted patterns. Because of their small size, they are only reserved to be ridden by children. That, coupled with their cool, calm temperament, makes them ideal pets to have around kids. Someone's gonna... Ooh! <laughs> 
16, Marwari. Next up, we got the unique Marwari. Marwaris are a beautiful horse breed native to northwestern India and some parts of Pakistan. But you know what stands out about the Marwari? Its unique set of inward curving ears, closely related to Katawari horses with which they share this exotic feature. The Marwari is known to have exceptional hearing. These horses are so rare we'd forgive you for not having seen one. The Pakistani and Indian governments consider them a national treasure, and as such, there are strict laws that prohibit them from being exported. So getting one if you're outside this region is no easy feat. In times past, owning a Marwari was a privilege reserved only for the royalty and nobility. To date, the horses are treated as a member of the family, often wearing tack adorned with jewels. These fearless, sturdy, elegant, loyal, friendly, and easy-to-ride horses were valued war horses due to their bravery and excellent ability to find their way home. I could go on and on about these remarkable horses, but I feel I've said enough about them already. So let's look at the next breed. 15. Mangalarga Marchador From one special breed, we move to the national horse of Brazil, none other than the Mangalarga Marchador. You obviously saw the heading. Like the Marwari, this is another breed that has been kept secret from most of us. They're believed to have been descended directly from the Iberian stock, with over half a million of them spread across the globe. These native Brazilians have won the hearts of many with their smooth gait, beauty, intelligence, gentleness, and versatility. Marga Larga Marchador is one of the few horses known not to trot. Instead, they have four different gaits, the Marcha Picada, the Marcha, the Canter, and the Walk. All these different gaits mean that the breed always has one or more hooves on the ground, guaranteeing a smooth, comfortable ride. Most Manga Larga Marchadors are gray in color, but there are also black, chestnut, palominos, and pinto ones. Another interesting fact about them is that they hold the Guinness World Record for completing the longest endurance ride ever, set in 1994. We're talking 8,694 miles of the stamina test riding. <laughs> Incredible! 14. Pasafino The Pasafino is one breed that will leave you enchanted at first sight. These beautiful horses have some of the most alluring coats you'll ever see. They also have quite impressive lush mane and tails. Originally from the Dominican Republic, they were brought to America by the great Christopher Columbus during his exploration. He's also credited for naming the breed. The present-day Pasafino resulted from inbreeding between the Spanish Jeanette, Andalusian, and Barb horses. They are noted for their natural four-beat ambling gait. You could ride onto these for hours and not feel any back pain. You can find them in various colors from white, gray, black to bay, and chestnut. In addition, they have a distinct flowing and long mane and tail. These well-behaved, intelligent, and versatile horses are suitable for all age group riders and can be used for trail riding, barrel racing, as well as show rings. 13. Cobb if you need a medium-sized with a sturdy build and a warm nature, then the cob horse is what you need. Even though the cob horse isn't really classified as a horse breed, it's a type of horse. Pretty confusing, right? Well, it's been said that for a horse to be classified as a cob, it must have short legs, with quality substance and bone, able to convey substantial weights, and must be gentle enough to be ridden by elderly and nervous riders. Other physical attributes include a shapely neck, generous eyes, well-defined wither, and a well-muscled body. The cob horse is one breed you're lucky to have around today. These beautiful horses were once sent to war and most of them died in battle, which led to a major decline in their population. Luckily, their population was resuscitated because of the rise in luxury riding in the mid-20th century, and they've been used primarily for leisure riding ever since. The choice riding horse in the UK these horses have intelligent eyes, short ears, and a head bigger than a pony's, even though they are taller than ponies, but taller than the average pony. 12. Gypsy Vanner Remember when I told you the cob isn't really a horse type, they're more of a type than breed? Well, the Gypsy Vanner is one of such cob type horses, and this horse is characterized by the long, flowing feather on the legs and their usual black and white colored coat. 
They are the horses of the Irish travelers and they can be found in most places in Ireland and the British Isles. The Gypsy Vanner is considered a relatively new breed with the official registry founded in 1996. However, there have been counter reports that they have been around since the Second World War. They claim some Gypsy Vanner was specifically bred for this war and has been around since then. Gypsy Vanner is thought to be the successor of the colored Shire horse, which the Romani selected to be used for pulling their wagons. Did you know Gypsy Vanner had mustaches? Yep, they have funny little mustaches. These beautiful giants are reputable members of the Romani family. Today, they're being used in the carriage of the Romani travelers. They're also a perfect child pony and are occasionally ridden in amateur competitions. 11. Orlob Trotter Named after its fast trot, which is hereditary, the Orlob Trotter is known for its remarkable stamina and speed, coupled with its attractive, strokeable coats. They are Russia's choice horse, developed by Count Alexei Orlov, so you can piece together how the name came about. This remarkable breed has been through a lot, from wars to cultural changes, they've been to the brink of extinction and back. A lot of careful breeding went into creating this beauty with exceptional versatility and temperament. Along with their excellence, great health conditions, and ability to go above and beyond that of many other breeds, they look exquisite and have a wonderful personality to match, making them turn the heads of anyone fond of horses. Orlob Trotter majorly has white coats upon maturity, while some are black bay and very few remain chestnut. 10. Black Forest Horse where else could you get a horse named the Black Forest Horse if not from the Black Forest? As the name hints on, these horses originated from the Black Forest region of Germany. The most fascinating part of their appearance has got to be their flaxen mane, which stands out from their chestnut coat. You just can't resist admiring these horses. Built to be strong, resilient, working horses, this breed was so loved by native farmers, they named them the Pearls of the Black Forest. This working breed has been around for centuries, with its origin being traced back to as early as the 15th century. Dubbed the Golden Retriever of the Horses, due to their incredible patience and temperament, they're an ideal choice for first-timers and novice horse owners. Their ancestors were originally used in agriculture and forestry, but today, the breed is a famous all-rounder for both riding and driving. They are currently under the endangered status and are protected under strict laws by the German government. 9. Nukra Say hello to the all-white version of the Marwari. Seriously, don't they look like what you'd get if you painted a Marwari horse white? Especially with the ears. Well, the Nukra is quite different from the Marwari. They are a man-made breed that took over 70 years of selected breeding to achieve. The result? A breed that has ears of Marwari and the body conformation of the Arabian breed. These gorgeous white horses are mostly seen in the Punjab region of Pakistan and some in Rajasthan and Maharashtra in India. Extensively used in marriage functions and religious ceremonies, this breed is also kept by enthusiasts and an emblem of nobility and status symbol. As expected, the debate of whether the Nukra is just a white glorified Marwari or its own breed is pretty fierce. Some claim any Nukra with exceptional confirmation can be counted as Marwari, while others deny it, claiming the Nukra is a breed on its own regardless of its confirmation. But there hasn't been a recognized body that has come out to put the issue to bed. Hopefully they will after watching this video. 8. The Chocolate Silver Dapple You've got to admire such an elegant name given to one of the most beautiful horses on the planet. The silver in its name explains a gene that occurs in black horses. You see, any horse with these genes passes it along to its foals. So instead of having a black coat, the foal inherits a dark coat featuring silver dappling. This uniqueness is not particular to any specific horse breed. Just about any horse breed can have it. Therefore, this beautiful horse type is composed of several breeds and is found in many places. 7. Bula Nice Horse This is an elegant French breed famed for its unique marble coat, which is why they are also called the White Marble Horse. The Bula Nice Horse is the best draft horse in the world, and as such they've been used by breeders to improve the characteristics of different breeds. 
Their history dates back to the Crusaders time and they've served man in various capacities since then. Just as their rare color, the Bula Nice Horse has a distinctive body conformation. They are blessed with short, elegant heads, kind, lovely eyes, short muscular necks, sloping shoulders, soft and silky skin, strong legs with clean joints, nicely rounded rib cages, and double manes, heavy luxurious tails, and croups. Like every other draft horse, the Bula Nice Horse is gentle, playful, challenging, social, docile, and alert. 6. Andalusian the Andalusian makes it to the list thanks to its beautiful coat, robust and elegant gait, and long, flowing mane and tail. Along with its beauty and panache, the Andalusian has a long history. In fact, some people believe an image discovered on the wall of one of the prehistoric caves is that of the Andalusian, unless it was a breed that looks very much like it. The image is estimated to be at least 20,000 years old. The Andalusian horse originated on the Iberian Peninsula and are named after the province of Andalusia. They were favored as military horses and were initially war horses for their endurance, speed, and agility. They can also be found in horse breeding competitions, show jumping, or trail rides. They are amazing companion horses for those who love leisure riding. Also, they can accommodate both newbies and seasoned equestrians. 5. Arabian now for the much talked about Arabian horse. This breed is well known and respected and you must have heard me mention them a couple of times already in this video. And if you ask many horse enthusiasts to list their favorite horse breeds, they'd most certainly include the Arabian horse. The Arabian horse is probably the horse that pops in your head anytime you imagine a horse trotting in the desert. Their regal, arch back, fine bone structure, flowing mane and tail make them an easy pick for any horse pageantry if there were ever to be one. These high-spirited horses date back as far as 3000 BC, which places them in the ballpark of most ancient breeds in the world. They have the potential to excel in almost any discipline thanks to their outstanding stamina, especially in endurance sports. The Arabian bloodline can be found in most modern horse breeds because they were used to add extra resilience and refinement. The most notable people to own an Arabian horse are George Washington and Alexander the Great. So those of you that own this truest breed are in a very enviable company. 4. Clydesdale Best known for its role in the ever popular Budweiser commercial, the Clydesdale horse is known for its thick, white blaze, flowing feathers and docile temperament. The alluring horse breed originated from the Clyde River Valley in Lanarkshire, Scotland and only made international appearances after being exported to Australia, New Zealand and the United States in the 19th and 20th centuries where they became popular farm animals. In their native Lanarkshire, these horses were initially bred and are still used for agriculture and forestry and those not into forestry and agriculture enjoy riding on them as they move great in harness and are easy to train. They and Shires have been used for the honor of parading in royal ceremonies as drum horses. 3. Lippas and Air There aren't as many horses as multi-talented as the sturdy Lippas and Air. These horses were basically bred to impress humans. In fact, Mozart composed music for the Lippas and Air, and several well-dressed audiences would turn to see them strut their stuff to the latest tunes of the Grand Carousel which took place early at the Spanish Riding School in Vienna in the 1700s. You see, these horses were sent to school when they were four years old and are usually fully trained and ready to perform by the time that they're 10. Besides dressage, Lippas and Ayers can be trained in show jumping and eventing due to their athletic build. Originally, Lippas and Ayers was created by a stud farm in the Austrian Empire in the 16th century. Today, however, they've become the national horse of Slovenia. It's interesting to know that all Lippas and Air horses are born black and mature into a light gray color. Although extremely rare, some end up with black, brown, and bay coats. Two, a call tiki. Easily one of the oldest domesticated horse breeds, the Akal Tiki has an ancestry that dates to around 6000 BC. They were bred for their agility, endurance, and speed, which explains why they were used in raids. 
Today, the Akal Tiki is considered by many horse enthusiasts as the most beautiful horse breed in the world. But trust us when we say our number one is even more beautiful. Akal Tiki has a metallic looking coat that shines like gold. Why do they have this unique metallic glow? Well, this is due to the fact that the core of their hair shaft isn't opaque. And as such, light reflects off the color and creates a sheen that looks metallic. Haters have said the Akal Tiki is thinly muscled like the Greyhound, but others just love how gracious this breed is. However, they aren't a breed for learners or first timers. They are best suited for seasoned equestrians. They also have a gentle temperament and are considered a devoted and loyal one-person breed. 1. Frisian Now we present to you the most beautiful horse in the world. Big, black, beautiful, the Frisian horse breed is such a sight to behold. These stunning horses are true black beauties that have been used for crossbreeding since the 19th century. Native to Friesland in the Netherlands, these ravishing horses with their striking black coat and long flowing mane were originally bred to carry medieval European knights into battle. And when these horses were no longer needed to carry the noble knights in shining armor, Frisians were used to power Dutch agriculture. When workhorses were no longer needed, they became famous for their sporting skills. They were also used to pull carriages for European royalty because of their elegant appearance and spectacular movement. Talk about adapting to changing times. This breed had to survive an extinction scare at the turn of the 20th century, while only three pure breeding stallions remained. Lucky for us, the Frisian breed survived the scare after the Second World War. Now strict rules have been put in place for anyone who wants to register their Frisian horse. Hence, you only see black Frisian horses with no white markings, with gorgeous flowing manes and tails. All right, we've come to the end of the video. Leave a comment down below and let us know which of these horses you find most fascinating. As always, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Forever Green and hit the bell icon so you don't miss a single upload. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.